Hello Aquarians and cross watchers, welcome to your video. So this is the afternoon quickie tarot. I don't know what's going to come out. All right. It's designed to be under 20 minutes. But anyway, guys, I want to be the first one to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for spending your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's see what wants to come out for today's quickie tarot reading. It's timeless, so whenever you see it, if you feel that you were drawn to this reading, there's probably something here for you, okay? Um, and I am doing this reading on October 2nd, but this is timeless. This can resonate around this time or at any time. Man, this keeps coming out for you guys. Wedding rings and boat. What is it? Is somebody out on a boat thinking about marrying you? We have receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. We have union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. You know, somebody might go on a cruise. Somebody might get proposed to on a cruise. Okay, someone might get married um, on the ocean or beach or um, on a ship. Okay. This came out before. Exactly those two cards came out before. Um, within this last week since I've done readings. All right. Let's see what wants to come out here. Somebody is going to get married. All right. Um, somebody's going to make it known. Anyway, ship's coming in. If somebody has been wanting to find someone that they could marry, the ship is coming in. Um, if you're already with somebody, someone could propose, okay? Somebody might even renew their wedding vows. All right, show me what I need to see for this reading. Nine cards, please. six of cups this is a very close connection but someone's thinking here i feel like someone's thinking about proposing let's get more details ace of crystals in the reverse maybe there's something that needs to get some sort of clarity on or maybe someone's just sort of not telling you this eight of crystals in the reverse You know, somebody, um, because I have in the split here, I'm going to pull more cards. I have the Ten of Crystals in reverse and the Child of Wands in the upright. This may be a second chance for some of you. Like I said, for some of you, this could be renewing something. But this could also be somebody wanting a second chance. Okay? Definitely somebody is thinking here. Give me some more cards. Just a very close connection. Again, Ten of Crystals in the reverse. You know, somebody may want to give this another try just because it's too close of a connection. Maybe also because, you know, for some people, there might be children involved. And at the center of this, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have, it, it talks about a long-term relationship. Um, somebody wants to either continue this long-term relationship and renew vows or somebody wants to um, propose or somebody is thinking about this and maybe hasn't said anything to you I will clarify But the heart of the reading does talk about long term. And we have Child of Crystals. Somebody's going to want to know. Some people might get proposed to because, you know, why would they want to know? It's like, will you marry me? That's like, I want to know. Would you say yes? Yeah. Would you spend your life with me? <laughs> Ten of Worlds. Ace of Worlds in the reverse. Somebody, oh, in the Man of Worlds. There is a person in the... Showing up as a divine masculine energy doesn't matter what gender. Okay, somebody who wants to know if you'll spend the rest of your life with them. Yeah. 
there's a tower too involved there's a tower happening for somebody I think maybe someone wants to spend their life maybe they don't know what they'll do if you if if you don't want to spend your life with them I got to clarify real good with this one <laughs> give me three more cards give me three more cards We have balance and the reverse, which is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, and that's... Mm -hmm. One more card. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is the bottom of the deck. Sage of Worlds. Coming soon here. Also, Virgo energy could have a Virgo coming your way. Um, could have someone who is uh, more of a novice spirit or a younger spirit. For some of you, it could um, someone coming in to stay. Okay, for good. Okay, this is a Two of Cups. This is a seven of worlds and this is a hierophant like this is a card of divine timing if you've been wanting um a marriage a commitment to go the next level in a relationship it's it's here it's here okay um this would be somebody that you already know so i don't see this as somebody that you're meeting though you could but if you're just meeting someone and they want to get married, like you guys would move really, really fast. And that could be the case because we do have the Sage of Worlds in the reverse. And that does talk about not taking time. It does talk about moving faster. So we got to clarify this. I'm going to use the Osho Zen to clarify. Tell me about the Six of Cups. <laughs> We are the world and we got mind blown. We have somebody here. Tell me about Six of Cups. Somebody is stressed out. All right. Somebody is stressed out. I feel like someone's in their emotions. We have the heart chakra open. Someone, someone I feel, you know how you get anxiety before... You really say what you want to say. And if somebody might have some sort of anxiety to pop the question. Someone might have anxiety about marriage. But it's coming fast. Look, I mean, it's coming fast. And this is clarifying the soulmate. So this soulmate is coming in quick. And I do have here the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is, it's coming in quick. Um, you could know this person, but if you don't know this person, you guys could move really fast into the into this relationship. If it's a new person, like this could, you know, love at first sight type of thing. Like, you know, I know that this is my person when you meet them. I just heard on site recognition. Yeah, like hands down, whoever this is and a masculine energy we have the two of wands in reverse. Um, this is a person who knows. This is a person who definitely knows. This could be a person who comes back for you. Um, a person that you met. It doesn't matter. The two of wands can be returned. The two of wands can be someone through traveling because you see a lot of intensity. Um, this is somebody who knows that you are their person. Yeah. And this, and there's a lot of stress around this, okay, because somebody's in love. So there might be a sense of urgency because I don't know, you guys might not uh, be in each other's space, live near each other, but you could, okay, you could. I feel like somebody feels that they need to say something because they're, they could possibly miss out on an opportunity. Tell me about the Ten of Crystals. Now, someone... If this is a return, maybe this is a person who wants a second chance. But overall, it looks like it's a second chance in love. Because I don't see, so far I don't see the any other return card. So I do feel like if you've been burned in love, okay, that this is a second chance. 
because usually for me to take a, a return I need to see a couple other cards I'm not just gonna say this is someone coming in um, but this is somebody who yeah and here's the Empress so I have a divine match here I feel like somebody knows that you're the one like I said you could already be dating this person you could already be with this person if it would be a return if you guys are going to renew your wedding vows like you guys are already married and you're going to renew your wedding vows that would show up as a return um, if it's somebody returning from traveling okay and you meet somebody all right that kind of way and it's like love at first sight but it can be someone you already know and they're really thinking about going the long term here with you and popping the question tell me about balance this is a card of focus and isolation here's in the reverse someone has not been able to focus here and the thing is they're really really thinking about this um <laughs> I, I, this card says totality. They're thinking about the big picture with you. They really are. And this could be a person who travels. Um, this could be a person who is on some sort of holiday or something like this. And they just think about that. Some of you might even live in a place where people go to vacation at. Tell me about the Ace of Crystals and the reverse. Some sort of clarity, patience, divine timing card. Someone is trying to get clarity to think if this is the right move to make. If this is the right time. And we have the star here. Um, we have the star and we have star seeds. We have existence. Somebody's thinking, is this the right time? Somebody is um, sort of surrendering, releasing control here. But they also want to know if this is the right time. Tell me about the woman of worlds. And it landed on this person. Like this person is like feels like now is the time. Whoever this is, if somebody, if you meet somebody um, soon, or if you're going to renew the vows, or if somebody you're already dealing with feels like, you know, it's a good time to go the next level, pop the question. Like, it's coming here soon. With the Sage of Worlds reverse, the time is right. Divine timing. Like, you're about to meet this person, or you're about to go the next level with this person. Or this person is going to come <clears throat> back for you. Because you're the one. You're the one for them. Thing is, Aquarius is in the reverse. You don't know this. I feel like you're just sort of going with the flow of life. Um, but, you know, roles can be reversed here. Tell me about that Six of Wands. Somebody, some you're not aware of this. I feel like someone tells you, honestly. The Six of Wands talks about so a recognition, but it's in the reverse. And the inner voice talks about... Uh, silence and keeping to oneself so you're not you're not aware of this somebody has to come in and tell you this yeah and you know we have morality in the reverse we have morality in the reverse and okay so somebody may think so there could be a third party person who thinks that you and this person don't make a good couple okay and that could be a controlling person in their environment or your environment but you guys are same match but there's a difference here right there's a smaller spirit an old a more mature spirit and i did see that a little bit here you know with the i have a king and a queen of pentacles they are both the same energetic match but somebody shows up as like a sage so there could be an age difference and somebody is like you're not you're not in your right mind you're not making the right decision um for whatever reason okay that would be it could be anybody close to that person tell me about the eight of crystals and the reverse that is getting out of the mind 
probably not believing what others are saying or thinking. Oh, wow. It's still commitment. Somebody is not going to listen. If, if somebody says, no, you and Aquarius don't make a good match, this person is not going to listen. Okay, they're going, that's just going to leave their mind. All right. They're not going to listen to a controlling person when it comes to Aquarius. We have Aquarius right here. Um, this person's heart chakra is open. They're receiving messages, okay? And they, <laughs> they plan on doing this. This could be a good-looking person. Could be somebody born the year the tiger, but it doesn't have to be. This can be a very good-looking person. Tell me about the child of crystals. I feel like they're going to want to know the answer. Tell me about that. We do have the lovers here. That's Gemini energy. It's very, very close energy. Okay. You see how these two are like twins. Very close. Um, we have here, somebody wants to know the answer. Somebody's got a lot of stress and anxiety. And some of you, this, you guys could marry each other. We have, we ha I have a lot of twin flame cards here coming out, guys. This could be... This, for some of you, it could be you're meeting your twin or, or having a union with them. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Nope, I already did that one. Tell me about the Sage of Worlds. This is the last one. Sage of Worlds in reverse. Card of Virgo. Speeding up. Does talk about speeding up. Because intensity did land on that. And it's the miser. Somebody lets go okay and gets out of their mind here um wow somebody is highly stressed about this connection all right somebody has stated their opinion that it's not morally right to be in this connection and um they're not going to listen to that person okay or people whoever it is anyway let's close out with an oracle card if this is your reading and you're happy about it, um, it's coming soon. It says, full moon in Aquarius, be real. Now, this person could have been thinking about you since we had that super moon. We had a super moon in Aquarius and then we had a, a lunar eclipse in Pisces. So this could have been on this person's mind. And they're finally just going to do their own thing and reach out, maybe propose, maybe just want to go all the way or with you long term or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon in your next video. Namaste, my friends.